What's up guys, Big Clive 34 coming to you today from the Import vs. Domestic World Cup Finals and behind me here, peeking in the shot, we actually have what I believe might be the world's fastest wagon. So we're gonna go over and talk to this guy. This thing is absolutely rolling. Really fun car, so we're gonna go get the details and we're gonna watch this thing race, of course. So thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe below, hit the bell notification icon to get more of this World Cup footage because this stuff is awesome, guys. So uh, without further ado, let's go get into the racing. Last time you guys see me out here, I was racing Street Fighter. We had 365 with a 76 millimeter in it. I took the 2017 and most of the 2018 season off uh, working on customers' cars, but now we're racing X275. Um, we normally run 410 cubic inch with a Garrett 88 millimeter on it, um, roughly 2,000 horsepower. Um, we had so much issues this year. I actually have my 365 back in here from 2016 with the same 88 millimeter on it, um, and it's still making real close to 2,000 horsepower. trying to get in the sixes this year. Right. That's really our only goal to be here is to get in the sixes and if we happen to win then that would be just a good plus. We weren't supposed to win in 2016. It just, you know, three uh, whole shot wins and eliminations really helped a lot. Are you working on anything particular as you bring it along here today? Like turn it up each pass or kind of just feeling it out? Well, we had a good game plan on Wednesday when we tested, but then the air changed and now it's been making so much more power early. It's been fighting us. So we just made a bunch of changes this morning to try to overcome that. the car tell us a story about you know why a wagon because we so, you're the only wagon that we've seen out yeah here. so actually i had a 84 monte carlo ss really super nice car and um we were involved in a race called the world street race and we actually crashed the car there and a buddy of mine had this car sitting around it had a nine inch and stuff in it he's like hey let's just put your motor and tranny in it let's go racing so we did it and then everybody loved the wagon you know and we won a lot of races with it upgraded over the years and um it just grew on me and then you know it went through turbos blowers you know all kinds of different stuff nitrous small block stuff and you know i talked about selling it and everybody was like freaking out said don't sell that thing you know that's like an iconic car in, the, in this type of racing so it's just growing out of me and i've had it since uh 2004. 